Dear Danny, I'm taking the pen in my hand to tell you we're just out of sight o'er the land. In this grand Allen liner we're sailing in style, but we're sailing away from the Emerald Isle. And a long sort of sigh seemed to come from us all, as the waves hid the last glimpse of our Donegal. Ah, oh, tis well that it's you that it's taken your tay, where they're cutting the corn in Creeslaw today. There's a woman on board who knows Katie by sight, and will talk of old times till they turned out the light. I'm to meet the good woman tomorrow on deck, and we'll talk about Katie from this to Quebec. I know I'm no match for her, no, not the least, with her house and two cows and her brother's a priest. But the woman declares Katie's heart's on the say, while mine's back with Katie in Krishna the day. Goodbye to you, Dan. There's no more to be said. And I think the salt water's got into my head, for it drips down my eyes when I call to my mind the friends and the calling mine leaving behind. But still she might wait. When I bid her goodbye, there was just the last glimpse of a tear in her eye and a break in her voice when she said, You might stay, but please, God, you'll come back to old Krishna someday.